Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jessica if you are. Today is a deck of panning update, one of my most favorite videos to film. So I'm really excited to update you on my five products I've been working on and we will be drawing in some new items. So I'm excited for that as well. But before we get into the video, let me give props where props are due to Emily from Emily and Max here on YouTube who invented this project. She was also inspired by another YouTuber, a booktuber, Books with Maddie. And this is a makeup beauty panning type project where a deck of cards is used to generate a prompt that helps you to choose what items you want to work on in this project. I always have Emily's videos linked in my description box and I'll also shoot them up here in the cards for you so definitely check her out if you haven't already. I can't imagine that you haven't but if you need to rush over there definitely check out her channel. She makes a lot of different painting videos and all of us in this painting community appreciate her so much for starting this super fun project. So I'm gonna get right on into my video. I have my deck of cards here, my Baby Yoda awkward deck of cards that I'm using this year and I'm ready and raring to show you what I've been able to do with these products over the past month. So definitely subscribe if you're new here and just stumbling across my channel. I would love to have you in my little makeup community on this corner of the internet. I love to do painting content and just conscious consumerism type things. This is a good motivation for me to try not to spend too much money on beauty, makeup, skincare, and to use what I already have in my collection. So if you're into that kind of stuff, definitely stick around and go ahead and give this video a quick thumbs up because it does really help me out and you are so appreciated just for being here. Let's get right on into the video. This first item is a long haul item in this project, which I don't normally do, but I'm excited to track my use on this product throughout the course of this year. This is my Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light Bronzer, and I am trying to see how much of this I can use over the course of the year and how big I can expand the pan on this item. I brought this into the project in January when I drew the King of Spades, which was has a pan, so it already had a nice little pan going on it. Here's what it was looking like when I first brought it in. I reached for it 16 times during the first month and expanded the pan to this size here. And in the last month, I've amped up my use on it quite a bit. I've now reached for it 25 times over the past month, making for 41 uses total. And here's what the bronzer is looking like today. And I think that you'll be able to see that I expanded the pan even more. And I'm quite satisfied with the size that we are starting to see. And it gives me a lot of hope that if I continue to reach for this throughout the year, I should be close to finishing it by the end, or at least have a very large satisfying pan on it. I'm excited to see how far we get. So that is the first item. This one's staying in. It's gonna be staying in for quite a while. So get used to her and I'm excited to see what we can do with her in the next month. I did finally finish my other bronzer that I've been working on in my rolling project pants. And now I can devote a lot more attention to other things like this. This next item is from Becca. This is Prosecco Pop, one of their highlighters. And this also came into the project in January. And I really want to hit pan on this item. That's my goal for this one. And I think we're getting close, but we're not quite there yet. So here is what Prosecco Pop was looking like in January when I first brought it in. I reached for it 19 times during the first month. And here's what it was looking like after those 19 uses. During the past month, I reached for it 27 more times, making for 46 uses total. And here's what it's looking like today. And I think the dip is definitely getting bigger and more pronounced. I've been using a large fan brush for this product, so the distribution is pretty wide across the surface of the pan. So I think it's wearing away a little bit slowly than I would if I was using a more targeted detailed type brush. But because of the type of brush that I'm using and I really have been enjoying using that brush, it might just take me a little bit longer to get to this one, but I think that dip's getting to be pretty deep. We are starting to get into that like lower layer of the product. And I think a pan should be in sight maybe by next month, next update, or definitely by the update after that. So in the meantime, I'm really enjoying reaching for this product. I do have it on my cheeks today and every day that I've done my makeup pretty much over the past month. And I just think it's so beautiful. It's a really nice shade for my skin tone and it's super easy to wear. It goes with any look that I create and gives a nice subtle but also like effective glow. So I've been enjoying having this one around. It is the last Becca highlighter in my collection to not have a pan on it. So I'm excited that it's finally getting the love that its brothers and sisters have gotten over the years. The card I drew for this was the Seven of Spades, which was for a highlight. And I knew I wanted to hit pan on this highlight during this year. So it was an easy one for me to reach for. And I'm excited to keep working on it. This item has also been in since January. It was for a Nine of Clubs, an SPF product. So I brought in this sunscreen from Sunbum. This is their Face 70 SPF. And this was very close to being finished. So this was a great excuse for me to bring it in and use up that final 
product in here before it expired in May of this year. So we just made it in there under the deadline, which is great. I'm happy that this got the use. Here's what the sunscreen was looking like when I first brought it into the project in January. It was weighing 40.34 grams. I reached for it 16 times during that first month. It was then weighing 30.68 grams and looking like this. I reached for it 22 more times during the past month. Today it's weighing 16.44 grams. So I used up the remaining 14.24 grams and here's what it's looking like today. I squeezed out all of the product that I possibly can and all of the air and I really do think this item is bone dry. There's no more products left in this bottle. I get to call this an empty and bring in a new item this month and I'm so happy I was able to use up the remainder of this product before it went bad. Last month I drew the five of hearts which was for metallic so I decided to bring in some metallic nail polishes and I could have just given myself an easy task and brought in one metallic nail polish but I decided to bring in three different metallic nail polishes and try and get a manicure out of each of them. These are all part of my nail polish collection that I haven't used in the past year or more and so I definitely wanted to bring them into a project and you know finally get to use them and see if I even like them. So we have this one from Nicole by OPI. This is the shade Candid Cameron and I'll go ahead and insert a picture of my manicure when I painted it with this color a really pretty like iridescent blue teal shade I don't typically reach for iridescent glittery polishes like this so it's kind of just fun to try something new and then I also brought in this like holographic rainbow one this is from color club you know, a brand I'm not really familiar with, but I loved my manicure of this. It really does look just like it does in the bottle on the nails. And I wish I took a picture of this manicure, but I never got around to it. But I do have a picture of this one here, which is what's on my nails right now. Very similar to this one, the holographic rainbow, but this one is just, you know, pure chrome without that holographic rainbow element. This is from Wet n Wild, their fast dry nail color formula. And it's actually a really nice formula. I do love Wet n Wild's nail polishes. I have a few my collection they're great for the price and this one also performed very well so this one is two coats that you're seeing here and this manicure on this hand I did I want to say a week ago now it's been exactly a week I did it on a Sunday and it is barely chipped at all I did have to repaint my thumb and forefinger on my other hand but that is pretty typical those are my most used nails I tend to use my nails as tools I really try not to but it does happen in my day-to-day -day life and so those nails always go first but the rest of my nails like those three were painted exactly a week ago that is amazing especially for me like I am so hard on my hands so pretty impressed with that formula and I'm happy that I now know how great it is and that I love it and that it does deserve to be in my nail polish collection still so I get to roll out all three of those I'm so happy I got use on them and that was kind of a fun little way to use the metallic prompt the last item I've been working on is my Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. I drew the Queen of Diamonds, which was a pick your space card. So I decided to pick the space, no pan left behind, and I wanted to get some use on this palette. It's pretty new in my collection and it doesn't have the use on it that it deserves because I tend to just kind of save my new palettes, which I shouldn't. I've been working on the black shade in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project, but I wanted to motivate myself to get use on the rest of the palette while I'm working on that black shade and this was a great way for me to do so. Here's what the Natasha Denona My Dream palette looks like. This is the shade that I'm trying to pan. You can see it hardly has the dip at all. I think that's after like 40 some uses. And of course, with no pan left behind, I had to use every single shade in this palette palette and I'm happy to say that I have been able to accomplish that and it was a great reminder of how much I love the shades in here they are great for the winter time and I've had a lot of fun playing with it reaching for it and having it out it's not going anywhere yet it's still in my pan those eyeshadows so I might be motivated to reach for it a couple more times I mean these other like shimmers and mattes in here we'll see but I'm definitely going to try and do my best to get as much use on that black as well in that project but for this project I have met my goal and this item will also be rolling out so we've got our two long haul items staying in and then three different products rolling out. Well, really five since I was able to use all three of those nail polishes and I also met my goal on the eyeshadow palette and the sunscreen. So that means I get to draw three new cards today and my Baby Yoda cards are ready and waiting in the wings. Here's that adorable little baby. I'm gonna make sure this month that all of these cards are going in the right direction. If you know, you know. I had a little bit of a snafu last month, but I just decided to roll with it. Here is a picture of what the deck of panning game board is looking like this month 
Emily shuffles it for us every month on the 10th, and then these videos go up around the 20th of each month. And the face cards always stay the same, but the number cards are what gets shuffled and changed up each and every month. So even if you draw the same card, it's most likely that it's not gonna be the same prompt as it was in the previous month. Although that doesn't guarantee that you're not gonna get repeats because I once drew a different card. It was two different cards, but I ended up with the same prompt from those two different cards. So sometimes, you know, the prompts just stay on the board, move around to somewhere else, and you might roll in a prompt as a repeat, but that's okay. I just decided to re-roll for my situation, but of course with these projects, you can do whatever you want because it's your project, and that's why they're also so fun. So with this game, there's always at least one joker in the deck, and if you do draw the joker, it is for Are You Joking Me?, which means you have to pan something in your collection that you really don't want to pan, or that would be very difficult for you to pan, or, you know, whatever would be a challenging painting situation for you specifically. Specifically. So here is that Joker, Mando and Grogu extending fingers for each other. So I'm going to put that right in the center of the deck. I'm going to give it some shuffles. You guys know my struggles with the round card shuffle, but I'll try and show you some shuffles on camera. See, I'm really giving my best effort for all of you guys. That's all we can really do in life is just do our best, you know, so that's what I'm doing right now in shuffling these cards. I'm going to try and get a little real accurate semblance of a shuffle on my leg. Try some knee shuffles here. You hear that? And we'll do that one more time. <laughs> it's so pathetic. And I'm gonna cut the deck. And these three top cards are going to be the three cards that are going to help me pick my items. So, mm, wish me luck. Send some good vibes to little Grogu. Okay, card number one is the King of Clubs, another black king. I think that's something I'm already working on. I think that's the same prompt. And then we have four of clubs, another club. And last card, the seven of diamonds. Okay, lucky number seven. I have no idea what these prompts are, so let me dig into my computer, get that game board up, and see what we are going to select for this project. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the game board up. The King of Clubs is, as I suspected, something that already has a pan on it, so I have a few things that are coming to mind for that one. Four of Clubs is for a focus item, and in Emily's prompt, she describes it as something for you to reflect on your painting goals for the year and kind of use those goals to help you to select an item. So hello, thank you so much. That's exactly what I wanna do for these projects. And then the seven of diamonds was for liquid. So I'm trying to think about what I wanna choose for that. Let me rifle through my makeup collection, make some decisions, and I'll be right back with my choices for you. That was actually pretty easy for me this time, I'm happy to say. So for the first card, the King of Clubs, something that already has pan on it, I decided to reach for my Charlotte Tilbury Concealer. This is like a color corrector. I forget what they call this exactly, and I don't see a name printed on the back, but this is their Peachy Color Corrector Concealer in the shade 2 Medium, and I really do like this product. I used to use products like this every single day to cover up my dark circles under my eyes and just to kind of give my concealer a little bit of an extra boost, and and I've kind of let them fall to the wayside. I just fell out of the habit of using them and I've just been using concealer and it's been doing me just fine. But I know this is a great product for not only covering up dark circles, but also any discoloration in the skin, covering up blemishes, any scars. It does a really nice job of concealing them. And I do have a little bit of sun damage on my cheek from when I was on Accutane and this would definitely help to cover that up quite a bit without just layering on a bunch of foundation. So I'm gonna bring this in and try and expand that pan on it. I think for this one, I'm gonna set a goal of 24 uses since we are in 2024. And I think that's a nice number because it's not too many where I will get tired of using this and it'll just be in the project for a long time. And I think it's enough that I'll be able to see quite a significant difference on the size of that pan after those 24 uses. So that's the first item and I'm excited to bring her back into rotation and see if I still enjoy products like this. For the next card, the Four of Clubs focus item, I decided to go through my little list of my products that I want to focus on in 2024. And this one has just been skirting every little opportunity that it has because I have just been putting off bringing it into a project. And that is this eyeshadow pencil from NYX. I've had this in my collection for years and every single inventory that I filmed over the past couple of years, this is in that inventory video. And I always say that I want to get use on it and I never have in the course of several years. So I'm gonna do that right now with this project, with 
this item. This jumbo eyeshadow pencil from NYX is in the shade Iced Mocha, and I don't even think they make packaging that has this little drawing on it anymore, so that goes to show you how old it is, but it still performs quite well. Here's a swatch of it, and I even tried to like blend it out a little bit with my finger, and it was very nice and easy to move, so I'm excited to try this on the eye, finally. I'm not an eyeshadow stick person. I did finally pan one, I think, last year, my Laura Mercier one, but this one's quite a bit of a deeper shade. I won't be able to wear it on my inner corner as a highlight, but I think all over the lid it'll be quite lovely. I'm just a little bit nervous that it's going to compete with my other eyeshadows that I'm trying to pan, but there's love enough to be spread out to everybody. And for that reason, I'm going to set the same usage goal on this as 24 uses. It might take me a few months to get those 24 uses, but at least I will know that I'm giving a good solid effort to getting some use on this product. And maybe I'll even get some of that pencil shaved down in those 24 uses. I don't know. We'll see. I'm excited to play with it and just give it a chance and I'll let you know how it goes next update. The last card, the seven of diamonds for liquid. I decided to go with, pause the video, go ahead and guess it in the comments. Do you know what I'm about to say? I hope you do. I hope you've been around long enough that you know I'm trying to work through my liquid lipstick collection and get use on all of my different liquid lipsticks. So I decided to bring in this shade from the KVD line. This is the shade Lover. It's actually one of my favorites that I have from her line in my collection. It's a very pretty, cool toned, like mauve pink. And I just think it is so flattering on my skin. I think it's a great shade for spring. It really does bring out the green in my eyes. And I'm excited to play with it. It almost has like a little bit of like a purple undertone, but it's not so loud. It's really quite wearable. And I just love it so much. So Lover is going to be around with me for the next month. I think I'm going to try and do six uses on this shade. I don't want it sticking around too long because I want to kind of be cycling through some items in this project and not have everything be super long haul. And six uses I think will be satisfying enough for me on this shade. And I'm just so excited to reach for it again. It hasn't gotten a lot of use recently and it's a great shade for spring. And that is all for my deck of panning project update. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about my choices. Just say hi. I love hearing from you. I hope this video finds you well and I'm sending love to you wherever you are in the world. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. But until then, bye.